Hello, it's Dr. Amy coming to you for another lunchtime inspiring moment. Um, I am your community psychologist and breakthrough life coach. And today, my message or topic that I have for you is to tell you that mindset really does matter. Mindset really does matter. And this topic today, actually, it comes from uh, chapter three in my book, The Prescription to Reach Abundant Success. But I wanted to just talk about this a little bit today, because I want to let everybody know that, you know, adopting the wrong mindset can help you. No, I'm sorry. Adopting the wrong mindset can tremendously hurt you, is what I want to say, opposed to adopting something that worked for you um, and can help you grow. So adopting the wrong mindset can hurt you, it can stifle you, and it can certainly hold you back. So what I talk about mindset here a lot, right, as I talk about resetting your mindset, but have you ever thought about what kind of mindset you have what kind of mindset you have? And today I'm going to be looking back and forth because I'm recording from two different uh, cameras today. But what kind of mindset um, do you have? Have you ever thought about that? What kind of mindset um, do you have? So what I want to do today, I want to look at some different types of mindsets that people have, both positive and negative and share some of those with you. And then I want you to let me know where do you think you are? Where do you stand? You can either jot it in the comment section or you can continue to send me an email and engage with me that way. But first, I want to quickly define, I talk about mindset a lot, but let me just give you a quick definition. According to the dictionary, dictionary.com, the de definition of a mindset is a mental attitude or disposition that predetermines a person's responses and interpretations of situations, right? It sort of predetermines you're going to react in a certain way before you even know the whole situation, right? So that's why it's so important to have a positive uh, mindset. And from this definition, it's clear that the type of mindset we adopt in life um, can easily determine how much success we have, how much happiness, joy, peace, um, and actually how much wealth we actually achieve. So it's important to know that, you know, that we are, that we, we all can adopt, we can change our mindset. And yes, all that we are comes down to the state of mind, the state of mind that each of us individually chooses to live in. So you choose your mindset, you choose that. And there are many different types of mindsets. Um, however, most people fit into a small number of mindsets and I'm gonna go over some of those um, today. So let's look at some of the mindsets that people actually have. And I jot some down today that I wanna talk about. So let me just list a few and then I'm gonna go into depth about um, some of the more important ones or the ones that I think is important. So, you know, both you have some on the positive side, some on the negative side. So for example, having a growth mindset, have you heard of that? Um, abundance mindset, a business mindset, a gratitude mindset, um, what are some others that I have on the positive side? Um, that confident mindset, a creative mindset. But then on the negative side, you have that fixed mindset, negative mindset, angry mindset, scarcity, uh, greed mindset, the fear mindset, the lazy and entitlement mindset, envy. There's another negative one um, that's on the right side. But let me talk a little bit about some of the ones that I help people to grow into and or really build from. And that's the growth mindset that's very important. And the growth mindset, it's a wonderful and amazing mindset. People who have the desire and the drive to grow are always improving themselves. That's the growth mindset. They love challenging themselves and constantly being better than they were yesterday right? That's the growth mindset, that you know that you are not stuck. You know that your mind um, can grow and you can develop. That's the growth mindset. So they like to always be building their knowledge and building themselves. Um, and they often become entrepreneurs, actually, and doing different things, seeking to help others grow. And they have an outlook that a situation can always be 
better. That's the growth mindset. So I'm going to ask you, do you have a growth mindset? Think about that. And then uh, right opposite of the growth mindset is that negative fixed mindset where it's just you're pessimist. You just don't see things as getting better. Um, things that, that are going to get better. And right along with that, I like to talk about the scarcity mindset, the scarcity mindset where you just feel like there's not enough um, to go around. Um, you believe you have to compete with somebody else to try to take their position or take what they have to make you shine. So just the scarcity mindset, you, you, you come from that or someone comes from that mindset because at some point maybe they didn't have enough. They didn't have enough money. They didn't have enough love. They didn't have enough attention. Um, so they still hold on to that scarcity mindset <clears throat> and thinking that that's all what they have now in life is where they're going to be and all they're going to have. So the good news is you can change. Somebody can change from the scarcity mindset. So if you see this, um, in real life with someone, just say, hey, did you know that you can make a change? And there are people out there that can help you. So then also there's the social mindset. You know, we have those people who are just bubbly. They're social butterflies. They get along with everybody. They're friendly. So some people have the social mindset. Do you have that mindset, the social mindset? And then I think the fear mindset. We all at one time or another maybe have had the fear mindset where we're just afraid to jump we're afraid to take action because of something perhaps that's happened before or we we would prefer to stay in a comfortable spot rather than being just a little bit uncomfortable to take that journey to see what's on the other side so the fear mindset is that you do you have um a fear mindset and now here's another one. I, I said the lazy mindset. You know what that's like? You might know somebody like that. They're just lazy. All they want to do is just sit around, do nothing, rely on other people. Um, and we always said the lazy mindset, it works for that person in the short term because believe it or not, they're the ones who usually get a whole lot because people feel sorry for them. So I say, you know, anybody you know with that lazy mindset, get up off of your butt and do something for yourself. So you know, do you have that lazy mindset and you can say, you know what, I am a little lazy, but it's time to make a change, right? So that's the lazy mindset. Then envy, that's another one I say is on the negative side. You just, the envy mindset. And I'm going to read from my notes here. Listen to this. The envy mindset is, the envy mindset is someone who's envious is often jealous of other people who who's perhaps doing better than them. Maybe they're jealous because of someone else's success, their relationship, their job, their wealth, their body, their looks, you name it. They're just envious of others. Um, while this is not the best mindset to have, there are a few advantages to being envious that 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 you might not expect. Um, you know, some, it can be motivational. It can be a motivational factor in pushing someone towards taking action. You know, I don't want anybody to stay in that state, but um, there are then even more disadvantages to that because you can become obsessed with what other people are doing. Um, you can waste time over other people just easily and you can come across to others as negative. So I hope no one listening to me here have that envy mindset. And if you do or know someone who does, just let them know you too can change. Then there's the dreamer mindset. Now this one, I have a lot of people that I work with actually who do have the dreamer mindset and then we have to curtail it and work with them. But the dreamer mindset is one that, you know, I love. I love people who have the dreamer mindset because people who possess this mindset have the ability to dream big and to think big. They love to believe that anything is possible and they have the ability to come up with incredible incredible ideas and visions for the future though the mindset of a dreamer does have some flaws can you guess what it is those creative people who always come up with these ideas you you out there who are those dreamers and you're creative what, what do you think might be a flaw in this area what do you think you probably got it. They always have ideas, but they don't take action. They're always doing something. They start on stuff and they have great ideas and they can tell you what to do, but they have problems completing the task. Now, it's a good idea to have a dreamer 
on your team because they come up with great ideas, but they are not the ones to complete the task or to uh, do the work, right? They, um, they are dreamers, but they have problems taking action on those dreams. So let me ask you, do you possess the dreamer mindset? And if you do, you probably need to work with someone to help you to implement some things because I love your mind. I love those dreamers mind. Like I said, I always want to have one on my team, but they can work your last nerves if you are someone who's used to implementing and jumping and getting things done, right? And then the, the last one and the most important one I think I want to discuss today is the business mindset. But before I get to the business mindset, I can't, I cannot um, mention the gratitude mindset. Are you one who you're just grateful for where you are right now, grateful for what you have, grateful for the blessings that's come to you as you are on the journey to get to the next stage or, or um, whatever you want in life, but you are grateful for what you have down. That's the um, gratitude mindset. But let's talk a little bit about the business mindset. So many people in my community, I know they're interested in entrepreneurship where they already own their business or they're thinking about starting a side business to complement that um, nine to five job. And the business mindset is one in which you love serving other people. You love to provide service to people and help change the world. That's how I put it. Like I, I feel like I'm out here changing the world because I'm helping people to get from where they are to where they want to get to. Um, you know, so the business mindset is just helping people, um, bringing that impact to make a difference in people's lives. Now, there are some, some, the major advantages to the business mindset is you possess the qualities needed to help others. Um, you're able to solve difficult problems. You can achieve financial freedom and financial independence in this, with this business mindset. But on the flip side, there are some, um, disadvantages to, now, I some people with the business mindset can be um, too focused on money and not on their passion. Um, so I, I always say when I talk about the business mindset, I work with those people who want to make sure that they're going to utilize money for good, right? Um, to be able to set your family up for financial freedom and generational wealth. But also with the business mindset, you want to do something that's going to serve others, that's going to help others, that's going to provide impact. So do you possess the business mindset or do you have a desire to possess the business mindset? What do you think about that? Well, those are some of the mindsets that are so important, but I want to, uh, something else that just popped it into my mind. There's something else that I have in chapter three. And if you already have my book, turn to chapter three and you can read this chapter. Mindset really does matter. And if you don't have the book, I am even willing, this is one of the chapters that I usually gift to people because I think it's so important. Mindset really matters. So if you want a copy of chapter three, just send me an email, Amy at amyheims.com and I will um, email you a copy or somebody will email you a copy but I'm I'm thinking about this term that I wrote in the book something that I learned uh, about a long time called learn helplessness and it follows um, the story of how an elephant is trained if you don't know from the time an elephant is a baby the the circus trainers put a chain around one of their legs right they're they're young from the time they're born and when they try to escape they can't get away because the chain keeps jerking them back, keeps jerking them back. And they realize that, you know, the pain is so intense of trying to leave and escape or try something different that they finally give up and just, you know, don't try to leave. So that baby elephant grows up into um, an adult elephant. And then you see these big elephants in the circus and you know, these big elephants can truly run wild, right? Because we see it on TV. However, they've been trained, learn helplessness, that that pain is so great that they no longer try something different. They no longer try to escape. So with um, learn helplessness in the elephant story, it's people have given up. So I say, is that you? Have you given up? Did you give up because you didn't know that you had other options? So, but I'm going to say to you, you're not an elephant. You have other options. 
You can change your mindset. You can change your life. You can try something different. So don't let learn helplessness, right? hold you down and or keep you down and or if you're already doing well don't let learn helplessness keep you from really soaring to a whole nother level a lot of people like elephants don't try different things because they didn't even realize that they had other options is that you is that you so let's make a change today suck all of this in you know and remember that mindset really does matter. It's one of the most important things in your life. So let's soar, let's shine, let's live out the dreams and the desires that we have in our hearts. What's your What's your dream? What's your desire? What is it that you think about sometimes when you're by yourself that you really want to do different from what you're doing? What is that? I can remember when I was working, um, just to know about me, I started out in human resources, um, I had an undergraduate degree in psychology, but I also got a business degree. And then after I finished college, I went on into the military where I um, got a commission, but I was work not but, and I was working, um, I was in charge of health care recruitment, right? Recruiting doctors and nurses into the military. I did that for 10 years and then transitioned into um, healthcare with organizations, with companies. So I was out in California. Then I accepted a job in Washington, D.C. in Northern Virginia, where I fell in love with and stayed. But during that time, it was just doing um, human resources work where I ended up going into an executive position. And finally, you know, I got displaced at one time and I was like, no, this has to change. Something has to change. I have to start doing something where I knew that I would be able to take care of my family financially, no matter what these companies decided to do, whether they right size, downsize, um, terminate or whatever. So that's what um, got me to first start my side business where I started out doing the same thing I was doing, just offering human resources consulting services on the side um, while I was still working. And then that parlayed into, I went back to school then and got, I got my master's degree way before I left my job, but went back to school and then got that same corporate psychology, business psychology um, degree where I can now really grow, prosper, and help other people too. So if you have a heart to serve, if you have a heart to help, um, my my most recent client, I'm so happy um, for her. Uh, she She's a, an executive in the government, but said she wants to be a life coach. And so she can help people in the relationship area to help build some of these, you know, build up and help to fix some of these marriages and some things that people are struggling with. So if you ever thought about that, what's your gifts? What are you just naturally good at? What are people come to you and ask you questions about or that you find yourself helping people in these areas anyway. Let me tell you, that's probably what you need to pivot into. And I'm the psychologist, the leader that can help you to package that thing into um, a service to help other people. So as you're helping somebody else solve their problems, God is going to bless you and, and our blessing comes from the um, financial side. But you have, in order to work with me, you have to be able to make sure that you're going to do good with your money and doing good to me means you're going to make sure that your family is set up for um, financial success and that you are going to become a wealth creator and make sure you're leaving generational wealth and you're putting yourself in a place where you can help other people financially also. All right, so that's my message for today. I know I went a little longer, but I love it when sometimes I can just speak to you from my heart because I want to be there um, to help you. All right, so I asked you to pass this uh, message around for anybody that you feel, you know, they might be struggling or you know they want more. And I'm not talking struggling because you're struggling because you need more money. Struggling with just a position in life. You're just not doing, they're not doing um what they truly, truly want to do. So I'm here to help you to grow, to develop, to prosper. I'm Dr. Amy, and I can help you to reset your mindset, develop your skill set, and get on board really to live out all of those dreams that you have in your heart. So if you're ready to pivot, if you know deep, deep down inside of you, you're ready to get on a journey, 
to a new destination, send me an email, Dr. Amy at amyheims.com. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's be intentional. Let's be intentional, community, about what's inside of our heart and what we really, really want to do. So hello to all of you. Love, love to all of you. I'm here and I'm standing by to give you the support that you need. My team is standing by. All right. So you have a wonderful day and we'll see you right back here the next time. Love, love and bye-bye.